Christmas wine Wednesday. Now, when it comes to Halloween treats, it's not just about the candy, mm -hmm. believe it or not. How about some wine to go with those sweet treats? Yeah, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> it's the perfect pairing, but we're actually going to learn about the perfect pairings today. So joining us live with some of her picks is Sommelier and Martha Stewart wine writer Sarah Tracy. Good morning. Good morning to you two. Happy early Halloween. Happy, Happy early, early Halloween. Halloween. We've already been munching and celebrating um, in preparation <laughs> for this segment. So first of all, these are Pacific Northwest wines. So these are wines that are from our region, which is super cool. I guess what might seem like an obvious question, but why pair these great <laughs> wines with candy? Well, I have to tell you, I love wines from the Pacific Northwest. I live in New York, so this is not in my backyard, but I tend to gravitate to these for the incredible variety and the amazing price points as well. So are you all ready to dive into some candy pairings? So ready. 100%. Now, unfortunately, we cannot sip the wine, but we can eat the candy, so we will follow totally. your lead. <laughs> Absolutely. So for me, when I think about trick-or-treating, the trick might be to put a little bit of wine in a coffee cup, potentially, when you're taking the kids <laughs> around. Um, so you heard it from me. That's one of my favorite Halloween tricks. And I love pairing a delicious crisp white, if that's something that you're into, something bright and refreshing like a Riesling. Mm. I have here the Chateau St. Michel Columbia Valley Riesling. This is a Washington State's founding winery, and they are one of the most important Riesling producers in the world, actually. And I paired this with a classic, you gotta love a Sour Patch Kid. This is my oh. absolute favorite because I don't know, the tartness of the wine with that crisp, refreshing quality works really, really well with that kind of tart, sweet, sour candy experience. Oh, Absolutely. I think these are two of Emma's favorite things. No, the Chateau St. <laughs> Michel Riesling is my one of one favorite wine. Every time I go to the store, I walk out wine in one hand, probably candy in another. So can attest to the brilliance of that pairing. <laughs> yeah, it's a classic for a reason. And honestly, I'm a wine and cheese girl, but on Halloween, I will absolutely do a candy substitution. It's just I feel that's my role as a professional, you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, like you said, it's your professional responsibility. OK, you have the 14 yeah. hands here in front of us, too. Which one does this go with? Which candy? Yeah, so this is 14 Hands, or another great winery from Washington State. I have their Hot to Trot Red Blend. Red Blends are a hugely popular category right now. They're super smooth. This one's really juicy, has tons of cherry and dark berry fruit to it. And so I was inspired by the jammy quality of the wine to do a peanut butter cup pairing. Mm. Think about PB&J, right? Yep. Like how delicious peanut butter, something kind of salty and savory is with that kind of juicy, jammy quality of a jelly or a wine that kind of has that. So I love the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. This is one of my favorite Halloween candies year after year. Whether you go with the minis or the full size, I just love these. Makes yeah. so much sense. Like In any PB &J. shape or size, Reese's yeah. every year. Brilliant. All right, what's next on the list? Yep. Okay, so another white wine. This is a fun choice. This is the Liquid Light Chardonnay. And what I love about this is it's full of flavor but it is light on calories. There is 95 calories a glass, and it is a little bit lower um, in sugar and in alcohol. So I think, you know, if I do a conservative calorie wine, I might be able to treat myself to an extra piece of candy without any guilt. So <laughs> I chose uh, Butterfingers, which I think is really fun with Chardonnay. This particular bottle has a lot of really fresh melon and citrus notes, and I think it really balances out the kind of salty buttery richness of the candy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and Butterfinger, that's that's one of my faves too. So I guess I'm going to have to I'm going to have to pop open this liquid light chardonnay to make sure I get the full that's experience. That's what you're going to have to snag for your goodie bag. <laughs> so yep. switching back to the red stuff, what do you got for us? Yeah, so a classic red. I brought the Columbia Crest Grand Estates Merlot. This is the one red wine that truly every every single person I host, I pour this they're like what is that wine? It's exceptional <laughs> and it's Truly one of the best values for the price out there, which we also have to love if you're going to stock up, host a Halloween party. This is what I would actually pick. And I paired this with, with M&M's, just a classic milk chocolate. A true classic. Yeah, chocolate and Merlot is, again, one of those classic pairings that 
you'll see at a fine dining restaurant, maybe with a chocolate souffle and a nice Merlot. But I say, why not bring it to the candy aisle too, right? I Wine love it. Not, mm -hmm. right? Why, why not? And Pinot Noir <laughs> is the staple of the Willamette Valley. Yeah, it so is. what Pinot have oh. you chosen for us today? Well, I'm sure you all are very familiar with the A to Z Wineworks Pinot Noir. This is fantastic. And what I do love about this is even if you're not in Oregon, you can get this pretty much all over the country. It is truly delicious. It's a lighter bodied red. It is more on the refreshing side with those red cherry notes. And I thought it would just be really fun to pair this with Snickers. Oh, uh, another classic. Wow, the wine actually has a good amount of complexity to it. And when you think about a Snicker, it's multidimensional. You have kind of the salty peanuts, the kind of chewy, creamy caramel, also the chocolate. There's multiple things going on in the candy. And I thought with that, you know, the wine is earthy, but also fruity. The wine has some complexity too. So I thought this would be a really, really fun match. I feel like this is like an, an adult's dream. Like you get the candy that you ate as a kid, yes. you grow up, and now you get to pair it with your wine. This is the Emmadrome <laughs> charcuterie spread right here. <laughs> there so you go. this is amazing. Absolutely. And these, I've heard a lot of rumors of parents, you know, rating their kids a leftover candy stash and enjoying that when the kids go to bed. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, I have a bunch of you neighbor kids. Me. If they want to ever see me again, they're going to have to fork it over. There you go. Sarah, <laughs> this has been fun to talk about. Thanks for taking the time here and joining us on this Wine Wednesday. Thank you so much. Happy Halloween. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. And for more wine wisdom, you can always check out Sarah's online blog. Go to thelushlife.xyz. And you can also celebrate Halloween with us tomorrow on AM Extra. Our team is gearing up for a grand adventure as we search for the